As some of you may know, Create My Cookbook has a great option for customers who've created a cookbook in an outside program such as Word, but still want Create My Cookbook to print and produce their books. And now we're making it even easier by sharing this tutorial on how to properly resize your contents to match our specs. The first step will be to review the specs for the binding style you plan to order. For this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and use Ring Binder. You'll also have to put in how many pages because this will change the spine width of a few of our binding styles. You can go ahead and choose your paper type as well. I'm going to stick to standard paper and calculate the specs. Once this populates, you'll be able to see all of the requirements for your file. It will show you the cover, which we'll go over in another video, but for now we're going to focus on the contents. So the contents for my ringed binder need to be 7.375 by 9.75. That's something that we need to write down so we don't forget that. You're also going to need to keep in mind the margin size. In this case, since we're retrofitting your file to match our specs, you're going to give the binding edge the same treatment as the outer edge, meaning your top and bottom margins will be 0.25 inches, but both the left and right margins will be 0.75. So I've written those down. Let's go over to Word. Once you have Word open, you're going to want to start with a totally blank canvas. You do not want to open your file yet. Uh, the first step is to go to File, Page Setup, then under Paper Size, you're going to choose Manage Custom Sizes. This is where you'll be able to add a new paper size. So hit the little plus sign. I'm going to go ahead and name this so we don't get confused. Ring Binder. Now remember that paper size was 7.375. By 9.75. For the top and bottom margins, again, we're going to put 0.25 inches, and for the left and right, we're going to put 0.75 inches. And we're going to click OK. This will create that paper size. Now you can click Cancel, and we'll go ahead and get our file opened. Our file's open. It should be a standard 8.5 by 11. Um, if it's not, this may be a bit strange. Uh, I would definitely suggest sticking to the 8.5 by 11 um, and then following these instructions. Now the next step is going to be to go to File, Print, and then you're going to choose where it says Copies and Pages. You're going to change it to Paper Handling. You're going to click Scale to Fit Paper Size. And then you're going to change the paper size to the one that we just created, the ring binder. From there, you're going to take the drop down that says PDF and change this to save as PDF. Once you do that, you'll be able to properly title your cookbook project and save it anywhere on your computer. At that point, you'll come back to the book specs page and click upload book. You'll choose your binding style, your paper type, and then you'll upload your cover file and your contents file. You'll also want to ensure there's no spaces in your file name. Use underscores or just take out the spacing altogether. That's as easy as that. Like I said, stick around. There'll be another video uploaded soon on how to properly size your cookbook cover.